All right, all right. Let's do this. Uh, today's the day. I've been thinking long and hard over the last three days about how I can get triangles drawing on a PlayStation 2. And I know what to do. I know what I've got to do. I know what I was missing before. Let's make it happen. Oh, sorry, I just got to... I, it's, it's not the start of a stream without a bit of microphone fiddling here. Sorry for the noise. Okay, so... How do I how do I quit this? There we go. I think I've got uh I think I've got everything ready for action. One thing I actually do want to do quickly is maybe jump across. Uh, see, one thing that's bothering me here is that uh, every time I do like git status, uh, we we have this this crap here. So I want to get a git ignore file going. And and the best way to start a git ignore file for people who don't know, GitHub have this wonderful git ignore repo. Uh, we're just gonna pull this in from here and and add a few things to it. But uh, great place to start for a git ignore. So dot git ignore. As we have learnt in previous streams, uh, hold on, I do not want that. As we've learnt in previous streams, spelling is uh, the bane of my existence. We also want uh, test.iso to be ignored. And now, just like that, they're gone. We need to git add the git ignore though. Awesome. Uh, git ignore. <sighs> git. git commit amend two dashes I always get this one wrong uh, git ignore perfect okay nice little thing to get us started another thing uh, if if uh, we're struggling with triangles or if I just get sick of PlayStation 2 stuff um, we might do some kind of some some pipeline stuff we, we might do a linter we might do some some style checking some formatting uh, but Let's let's get into the real stuff. The PlayStation Two devs. So, last time uh, we got the screen clearing, and, and let's let's have a look at this. Uh, ISO selector. So it, it looks something like this. Okay, you can see there's a slightly different shade of black drawing there. We drew a red rectangle. We drew a black rectangle. It was very very exciting. Um, first things first today let's clean up a few things so we have this init code we're using a weird screen resolution because i was copying from some other examples when nothing was working um let's let's actually set these in variables and then we can reuse them for example uh when we clear the screen we don't have to remember what number was being used so we can come in and do that uh define and let's let's render to a more normal resolution uh We'll do 640 by 448. I don't know why, but this is a resolution a lot of programs seem to use. We're going to roll with this. So, uh, 640, 448. Perfect. And this should be fine. Uh, there was another thing that was standing out to me, and that was... Well, yeah, so if we, if we make this, building this in a Docker image, which has all of the PS2 SDK stuff, if we docker build this, we get this really interesting warning here. Uh, I was using a statically defined buffer. We learnt last time that uh, if you're doing PlayStation 2 direct memory access transfers around the system, don't use statically allocated buffers. Uh, malloc things. Malloc things. That was literally the, the, the biggest obstacle to me getting anything done in the previous two streams. So, uh, I changed this, but I'm still using size of buff as if it was some statically allocated thing. It's it's now just just a generic pointer. We malloc to it, so I can't use size of buff anymore. Um, so this is probably another candidate for uh, for a constant. So let's say let's just call it draw buff length for now. I guess it's not perfect, but it'll do. Uh, I think there's another size of somewhere in here that is. So let's draw buff len. Perfect. So now we're actually clearing this properly. That's uh that's that's important. So let's define up here as well. Draw. And that's gonna be uh, if we want hundred elements, we go hundred times sixteen because this is a hundred uh sixteen bit uh quad words, right? Uh PlayStation 2 system word is is four bytes. Double word is 8 bytes, and uh, yeah, quad word is 16 bytes. So, we have a draw buffer length to find. If we build again, this should all be good, and it is. We have our usual warning about this left shift, but we're not concerned about that because it's not really going to matter. Let's run again and make sure everything's still fine. And uh, that is looking good. It actually it actually recognizes that resolution, which is nice. This, this draw spam is a lot, and I think I actually 
ran a version of this I'd been fiddling with, uh, just having a look at what was being logged before we started. Uh, I came in here and I was just like, you know what, I, I don't like my logs being spammed quite that much, so let's just sleep for two seconds in between every frame. Uh, and let's have a look at that. Yeah, perfect. Just a little bit less spammy. So every two seconds we're going to get this logged out, uh, and that's looking good. The other important thing, uh, we, we did a lot of experimentation last time with initializing the graphic synthesizer. I had this nice bit of code here. In the end I had to relent and uh, use their standard initialization function. Actually, uh, I don't think we need that because we worked out that wasn't even the problem. So let me see if I make this again and then run it again. Is everything still going to work? And by everything here, I do literally just mean clearing the screen, but uh, you know, that's a pretty good place to start. That's a pretty good place to start. So everything still works. Uh, that's nice. Let's just make a commit called cleanup. Now all of this stuff is going to... I haven't, I haven't pushed it to anywhere yet, but uh, if you... If you are interested in following along, if you are following along at home, I'm doing every stream is going to have its own branch. Eventually there will be other branches as well, as this does more stuff. But uh, for now, streams, branches, uh, if, if you want to follow along what happened on a given stream, then you can just check out that branch and go from there. Nice and simple. Nice and easy. Uh, awesome. So, this is all looking good. Uh, the other thing I have open here, right, I've been playing around with looking at the draw source, because if we go into draw uh, and we look at clear, draw clear... Right, because this is what's actually drawing at the moment. There's actually something drawing to the screen, and that's exciting. So maybe our triangles just don't look enough like this, right? So we've got draw clear down here. Uh, let's put a marker on that line, and then we have add draw function. And add draw function is setting up GIF packets ready to send over to uh, to to the graphics synthesizer via the graphics interchange. We're manually kind of pushing in red, green, blue, and then X, Y, and Z values. Um, so. Maybe we just need to look at what DrawClear is actually doing and, and pretty much copy exactly that. And, uh, you know, I've looked into these these functions a bit before. You know, this is interesting. Um, floating point stuff is weird on the PlayStation 2. I think there are certain magical values. If you want, like, especially if you're drawing sprites, you want nice crispy edges. You have to use these weird offsets to things. But uh, small details and, and small details that aren't totally going to matter right now. The important drawing here... Uh, well, well, first off... This PR mode cont, uh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Prim override enable. So does that mean that PR mode, interesting. I'm going to have to look this up in the hardware manuals because I actually don't know what this means. Uh, so let's start there. Let's start there. But the bulk of the drawing is, is being populated by this uh, function draw rect field strips. And I believe that's in draw 2D. Uh, field strips. Yes. So... Is there actually a draw triangles? Draw triangle outline. Draw triangle field. There's actually a triangle uh, function in here, which uses this triangle D structure. Um, this is also like a really inefficient way to draw triangles because it's going to draw them in a, per gift tag one at a time, which isn't terrible, but uh, not, not particularly efficient. It also only has one color per triangle. Okay, uh, I'm looking up PR mode, PR mode cont. It's enabled only when pbay prim PR mode. The register changes the attributes of drawing primitives. It is enabled only when AC equals zero is set by the PR mode cont register. So it overrides things that are set uh, when, when we set the prim register, which is interesting. I don't know why that's particularly important here. I guess... Uh, I guess rather than nuking whatever you have in the prim register when you call clear, uh, it just temporarily overrides it. Uh, so that's quite cool. That's quite cool. When AC is zero is set by the PR mode con AC... Do we accidentally have something set to zero that we shouldn't? Uh, AC equals zero is set by the PR mode con register. What does the PR mode con register have in it? PR mode con AC. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I, just, I have a feeling we might be setting the prim register incorrectly as well. Um, is there a bit here that should be set? What I actually want is the GIF 
format for it. Uh, so I am referring off screen here to the PlayStation 2 hardware manuals. They're like big time copyrighted. I'm scared to show them on stream because I don't want Sony to come after me. <laughs> um, so unfortunately, I will not show them on stream. Uh, prim, it just sets prim. It just sets the prim part of, of the prim field. Is that? Okay. But then if I set it via AD, different. So this stuff's complicated. This stuff's really complicated. Um, label prim. I just don't want this. I don't want to do a bunch of stuff and then work out I just had prim set wrong the whole time. Shading method. Flat. That's fine. Texture mapping off. That's fine. Fogging off. That's fine. Alpha blending off. Anti-aliasing off is fine. Uh, STQ is fine. Context I don't care about. Fragment value control. Okay, well I don't think that matters. Um, the other thing that's interesting in this draw, well in, in all these draw functions, right, uh, everything has this offset added to it before it gets uh, F2I forward. And see, we, uh, except for Z, of course. Z is on a completely different scale. So X and Y have this this magical offset value added to it. And uh, this is this is basically what we're doing, by the way, right? If we look at our code, uh, where we have less utility functions for it, but this is this is what we're doing. Uh, GIF set X Y Z. Actually, no, they're packing X Y Z into a single. Are they using? Ah, uh, they're no, sorry, they're using regulus mode. So it's a little bit different for them. They can be a little bit more compact with their data, but um. They're, they're sending data through in the same kind of way. Uh, so the primitive triangle, zero, zero, we, we have this as zero, zero, we have this as zero, and zero. So when we set the prim register, which we're doing in every single gift tag, uh, we have one loop, we're doing A, D, yeah, this is fine. We're setting the primitive to triangle and then everything is zero. And this is exactly what they're setting it to here. Um, they, they, they're using a format where data is passed through in 64-bit words rather than 128-bit words. It's much more compact. So then they set color, which is the next thing that we set. We set color and then they pass in three uh, X, Y, Z values and they use this F2I. So maybe we need to start using F2I4, but we definitely need to pass in this offset because at some point during all of these changes, uh, I started using the standard draw setup environment call. And this does something really important. Uh, this setup environment, this sets the X, Y offset register to this magical number. And I talked a little bit about this last time. It's interesting to me because uh, th this F2I4 format, it's uh, what is it? It's fixed point, it's 16 bit fixed point numbers with a four bit decimal part. Okay. Uh, I don't know if decimal is the right word there. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if four bit decimal part is, is good, uh, sentence construction, but so the, the idea is that we have, uh, a 12 bit number and 2048 is two to the 11. So it pretty much bisects the integer part of the number. It pretty much divides it into two evil parts, even parts, which is, it, it seems oddly convenient. I'm sure there is a reason they do it. I can't quite work it out, but uh, they, they're setting this offset up and then in draw 2D, they're actually adding an offset to everything they draw. So basically, maybe we just need to add an offset. So this offset X and offset Y, uh, offset X, what am I actually using? So let's, uh, I think I was going to use this for like like, uh, what's the word? TV offset? Like when you can shift the image around on your TV for different TVs that have different offsets. Sorry, I'm just gonna... Uh, but I'm, I'm gonna take these under my wing. Uh, and we're gonna... We're gonna make these both 2048. That sounds like a good place to start. Maybe I should make them... I don't know, anyway. So then down in draw... Uh... So I think we need to rewrite this, okay? Um, we need to, we need to say, uh, this is, let's say int x equals 
try base plus zero plus offset x. So so we're gonna grab these into um, variables and then assemble them like this. It's a little bit messy, but it'll be it'll make sense once I've finished doing this. F to I four. Um, and let's get rid of that highlighting. Um, I'm going to define my own version of f to i4 because I don't think the version PS2 SDK uses is necessary for my use case right now. Uh, and then z is is going to be much simpler because we don't need to we do need to con we don't need to convert it to. Oh, maybe this is just the problem. I don't think we convert z to fixed point. We don't. Z is just z is just z. Um, let's just say Z, let's just hard code Z for now. Uh, and so then we're going to go, this is just going to be X and then we're just going to shift Y and then this is just going to be Z. Perfect. That, that seems a bit nicer. So now I just need to define my F to I4 and we're just going to define this really simply for now. Four X. Uh, this is x left shifted by 4. Let's wrap x in brackets just so there's nothing strange happening. If this doesn't work, we're going to try replacing it with the PS2 SDK version, but let's uh, assume it's going to work for now. Uh, how's everyone doing, by the way? I've got a few people hanging around in chat. Feel free to say hello. Feel free to ask questions. Uh, this stuff is super exciting. I'm very excited by it. Okay, that still didn't work. But we're drawing very different vertices now. Oh, we are we are drawing such different vertices right now. Um, and I'm excited that as Z is no longer being... Wait, why is Z... Oh, because we're still drawing the other thing. This isn't, this, this isn't logging what I want it to be logging. Um, and actually, let's, let's forget this uh, printf here. Let's get rid of this for now. And let's go back to where we send our... Uh, I give tags via DMA. Let's DMA, uh, not DMA. What what did I call this? I called it like print buffer. Uh, buff Q minus buff. I think those are the only two. Yeah yeah yeah. B in length. Okay. So let's try this again, but we're gonna have a much more interesting dump uh, in the logs this time. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So, pause, um, oh my god, this is a very finicky scroll, okay, so buffer, this is, this is everything where we're sending every single frame, uh, to the, to the graphic synthesizer for now. So what is this? Uh, so first off, are we actually clearing the buffer at the start of a draw? I think we are. Uh, draw. Oh, well, we're, we're clearing it at the start of a, at uh, the start of a frame, yeah. So, everything that's going in here is going in as part of, uh, as, as part of this frame. So, first things first, we have this GIF tag, which is saying that we're setting, uh, we're, we're using the 80 register, we're going to set two registers inside the graphics synthesizer. This first command, uh, is for, the first command is for, I think that's the primitive register? Hold on, I've got to, I've got to double check my GIF tag format here. We're gonna, we're doing this the hard way. We are reading this by hand. Uh, what's, what's the AD format? Sorry, which one comes first? Fog A and D. Uh, data address. So, so this is the lower bit. This is the first one, two, one. So data. Alright, so this is writing it to. Um. Let's hold on. I need to grip RNI GS reg. Uh, something 0x1a. I was hoping, I was hoping. Um, these are defined in common include gsgp. So is there a 0x1a? There is. And this is PR mode con. So this, this is, um, we've, we've jumped in. E E draw source. Ah, uh, that's not what I want. Draw dot draw two D dot C. Rect. 
uh, e draw source draw uh, clear. This is what we want. So the first thing it does, PR mode can't, this is what we see. Then it's going to set PR mode. Uh, so this is this, and it's setting it to override some stuff. Nothing too exciting, actually. Mostly zeros. Uh, and again, that's what we see. There's just this one little bit here which gets set, which is... I don't know what this is. That must be this one. This is that, like... This is, I think this is the field I was looking at before that I thought was odd. Okay, that's, I'm tucking that away in my brain hole. Uh, then we have another gift tag. Uh, this is going to be the gift tag that actually uh, that actually does the drawing, right? So, oh, this sets the... This doesn't... This... It's interesting, this um, pre-calculates the value that uh, the the color value in a format that the GS understands, I guess. That's that's cool. That saves you having to do it for like every rectangle. Okay, uh, let's move into get draw rectangle. So draw rectangle strips. Is that is that not rect rect filled? Yeah, it's in draw two D. Uh, filled strips. And then it's going to draw these strips. Uh, <laughs> I think it uses prim sprite, right? Which is actually a quad, which, which is this whole thing. Uh, if you want to draw quads, you have to use uh, primitive sprite. And then this gift tag, pack gift tag, it retroactively fills in the gift tag with the length of the things in it, I guess. Yeah, with, with the length of the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Draw XYZ rigid. Cool. Okay. So, and that, that mostly lines up with what we see here. Um, there are these two things, and then this is the reg list for the rectangles, right? Uh, I'm guessing... Oh, which one of these is the color? Which one of these is... Well, this one changes a bit, so this must be, like, color... Uh, RG... Uh, color XYZ, maybe? What, what does the reg list say? It's color... Um, wait, they're actually... They're... Oh, no, hold on. Here, yeah, five five. So that's position position. So it's position 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 position. Oh yeah, and this one does vary too. So okay, 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 okay. Um, but again, weird that this has this like nine because this means that it has a fractional part as well. Um, and then this is us. This is us. Oh, this is all us. This is us setting uh register one. Register one is what's right. Hold on, I've got to check again. I've got to check again. Um, common include GSGP, what is register one? RGBAQ. Is this right? Is this what we're doing? Uh, so draw. Draw. Where are we? I'm gonna, I'm gonna refactor this in a bit, uh, so that we have less stuff in this one big main file. Uh, let's, that wasn't what I wanted put a mark rather than jump to a mark. Okay, so, um, prim, so set the, set the primitive. Okay, so, so here we are. O1. GS reg prim. See, I don't think that, that doesn't seem right, does it? I can also consider setting this last bit just to see what happens. Um, Interesting, because it's not in here, is it? It's um. So that's that, and then this should be set prim. So with A and D, the first word is the data, and the second word is the address. Oh, one mm, A. This must still be part of their draw, surely? No, because then this is. One. This is my color, color, position, position, color, position, color, position, and then this is my draw finish. So, um, this is. I don't think this is right. I don't think. I don't think this is right. This one a. Didn't I just look at this? Um, one a. Yeah, this is PR mode con. That's the wrong register. How is it setting the wrong register? What is? 
This is what we want to see for red for GS Prim Triangle. I'm pretty sure. Is it in here? Um, Prim Triangle zero three. This isn't right. This isn't the right. Oh no, here it is. Wait, what's this then? This is disabled. Oh, I'm silly. This must be like undoing what it's done with uh, the the PR mode con register. So this this is our gift tag. This is our setting the primitive. Uh, and then this is the start of our triangle data. So here we go. Here's our triangle data. Okay. So we have color. We have vertex. See, the other thing I could do is simplify this and get rid of two of the colors and just go color, uh, vertex, 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 and see if that helps. The other thing as well, because this is using a different position register. This is using uh, four I'm using five. So four is a, th there are three different position registers that the, the PlayStation 2 graphics synthesizer has, and I don't quite understand the difference between them and when you would use one or the other, but I'm using five and they're using four. So, oh no, I, I have, I've got a bad feeling about uh, triangles today. <laughs> I was hopeful today. Um, so here's our X. Okay. So when we're setting X, Y, Z, right? Um, it is in, it is in the packing format. And our packing format, we have we have uh, color, we have X, we have Y. Where does Y start? Y starts at 32 and goes for four bytes. So one, uh, where's the halfway of this number? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So Y is one, two, three. Yeah, so just this bit is set. So this is, um, is this? 2048, this is, this is, wait, 2048's 2 to the 11, gets shifted up to 2 to the 12, 2 to the 12 is 4096, which is the highest bit, no, no, that, that isn't right, that's, that's not the right value, right, because our Y for our triangle, our Y for our triangle should be 0, the first vertex, the X should be what? I mean, yeah, th this is 10 with some magical constant added on. Um, and our magical constant in this case is 2048. Okay, let's try something different. Let's, let's fall back to the PS2 SDK version of this function because someone smarter than me wrote it. Uh, And, and let's see what happens. If this just draws a triangle right now, I'll be I'll be relieved, but I'll be a little bit upset. No, okay, good. I, I knew, I knew. These are going to be the same vertices. Um, these are going to be the same. Yeah, this this is the same. This is the same. So, why? The question is why. Unless that actually didn't rebuild for some reason, uh, but it did. It 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 gave me this warning. So, hmm. So that. Drawing kick. I might be missing something here as well. Um, so XYZ set XYZ. Hmm. Apparently th there's this other bit you set uh, in these XYZ register entries, these vertex position entries, something to do with kick. That is zero is specified when performing drawing kick and one is specified when not. Well, we are performing a drawing kick, so we need that to be set to zero. So that's fine. Okay. No, so that's fine. That's fine. Um, due to GSDDA, yeah, this is also fine. Um, Set UV. It's interesting. Interesting as UV. Okay, well let's let's draw triangle. Draw draw triangle field. What if I just like add a draw triangle field command? And if this draws, I will be very upset. Uh, what what is triangle T? E draw include. Is it an include draw dot h triangle T? Where's triangle T defined? Uh. 
I'm guessing they've like type deft it, so it's going to be harder to search for. Um, you can't just search for like struct. Yeah, here it is. E e. Ah, oh, sorry. Include draw two D. It's there's a separate header for it. Cool. Vertex and a vertex T <laughs> is where's vertex T? Oh, where's vertex T? E e draw include draw types. Vertex T. Yeah. Yeah, so like in X and Y are floats, but Z is an unsigned int. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, thank you very much for this follow. Uh, Cenobite Offsec. It's a cool name. I like it. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for stopping by. I'm going to get uh, alerts and stuff up happening at, at some point, but for now, just smashing my head against some code. Uh, it's, a, it's a good way to be. It's a good place to be. So include draw types.h, include draw 2 dh we're already including draw.h. We're not including draw.h. We are including draw.h. I'm pretty sure draw.h will come with both of these. Um, draw type. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, no, no. So we don't. We don't need this. We don't need this. We can. We can forget this. Um, let's just make a dumb triangle T. Can we just like. Uh, what does it look like? E, draw 2D, triangle T. Yeah, it's got, it's got three verts. So can we go like three equals, uh, and a vertex is just X, Y, Z. So what if we go like 10.0F, 0, 1, 2.0F, and then Z is going to be zero. Can we do this? Can we initialize stuff like this? I think we can. Um, let's go 310. Uh, y is gonna be... So we're, we're going here, we're going here. Yeah, we can keep Y the same, zero. And then we're gonna go 600. Uh, y is gonna be 300.0 and Z is still gonna be zero because Z is always zero. Does this, does this compile? Unused variable, that compiles. Awesome. I can never remember if, uh, like, I don't know, I'm never confident about my, my C array of struct initializers. I always feel like I'm going to do something silly wrong with them. Uh, I, do I need to move my microphone down a little? Is this, like, blocking my face? Let's go down a little. Let's go down a little. How am I, how am I sounding? How am I looking? Am I, is everything, is everything? I'm clipping a little. I can, I can afford to move the microphone slightly away from my face. Okay. Okay, so... We've got a triangle, now we're going to go triangle t test try equals, uh, what are the fields, what are the fields, so we'll just go another try zero, another try one, another try two, and the color t is going to be, uh, oh no, um, draw types color t. Yeah, it's going to be an RGBAQ. So let's just set this to a magic number. Uh, magic number is going to be RGBAQ. Uh, so let's go FFOOF. And do you build? You don't. You, you don't. Triangle T test try missing braces around initializer. Um, that is because, mm, it may not like this color T initialization, uh, oh, it's because, um, cull dot, hold on, cull dot RGBAQ equals 0 F F O F. yeah, unions, union initializers are weird, I think I need to do that, and now it'll compile... I don't know, there's probably a cleaner way to initialize that in one line, but anyway, we've done it. Uh, and now let's go Q equals draw triangle filled, I think. Um, e, e, draw, source, draw, 2D, triangle filled, uh, Q, 
context triangle. So Q zero and our triangle is uh, test try. So let's see if this dumps a, a triangle out onto the screen. If, I mean, it should, right? And it doesn't. So that's good because that means that their code also does not put a triangle on the screen. Our code does not put a triangle on the screen. Their code does not put a triangle on the, scr on the screen. No one's putting a triangle on the screen right now. Um, slightly relieved, slightly relieved. So this is their triangle and this is our triangle. Um, what if I make the vertexes the same? Oh, oh, wouldn't that be cool? Um, but either way, that doesn't help the fact that this is not, this is not doing the thing. Um, all in one. See, this puts, this packs a load of gift tags into one, uh, draw command. It doesn't, doesn't really care. <laughs> really doesn't care. So that should be fine. Draw triangle field. Weird. Weird. One, two. Definitely not running out of space. Like we're still getting our, our end of packet here. We're not overrunning anything. Um, F F C F. -F so let's go back to our triangle here because the first vertex of this triangle is still ten, right? Is still the integer ten. So in theory, we should see some relationship. So like this is our x, and their x is going to be here as well. Uh, and that's the same x. And then their y is slightly different, right? Because our y was zero, but their y was uh, two. And so this is actually two, right? This is the same thing. And it just has this upper bit set, this uppermost bit set. And I'm guessing that's what the, oh, because the 2048 gets left shifted by four as well. So that's 2048, that's two to the uh, two to the 11. That becomes two to the 15. So you're setting the uppermost bit in a 16 bit value, right? Because yeah, two to the zero is the lower bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I've convinced myself. So, this this is literally this is saying bisect the number space. This. So does it? Is this fixed point format? Is zero in this fixed point format? Uh, two o four eight left shifted by four. Is that what it's saying? Uh, thank you very much for a follow. Uh, hell yeah. Uh, un unticked. Nvim PS2 signed me up. Hell yeah! Welcome to the show. This is this is the real stuff. This is nitty gritty. Uh, looking at b bits going into registers, like oh boy, this is the the works. This is the works. So nothing. I nothing's drawing. Nothing's working. Okay, currently nothing's working, which is a very strange thing. Um. Let's take a let's take a quick breather. Let's take a quick breather because this is uh this is getting sweaty. I found some old ISOs that I built of older things. So uh, let's reset here. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. This was this is essentially what I'm trying to rebuild. Unfortunately, I lost the code to this. But uh, this is a little spinny thing. Vertices are colored by uh, x y coordinates, and I think maybe z as well. I've so I've done this before, and unfortunately, I can't recreate it. But uh, this I've like verified runs on a real PlayStation Two, which is cool. We this this isn't my code. This is my code from a while ago. Um, this unfortunately has been lost to time. Uh, here's here's another one I worked on. I, I just found a few of these, so I thought I'd load them up. Right. So this was uh, entirely the lighting is messed up. I, everything was calculated on the CPU. Um, but I I got an obj renderer working, which was cool. Uh, I think that this was just like normals, right? Like I was, I was doing something wrong calculating the normals because I wrote my own math library. But this was essentially a port of a software renderer I wrote that ran in SDL uh, to a PlayStation 2. Um, but it, like, it wasn't software rendering. It was software transforming vertices and then sending lists of vertices to the rasterizer, the, the GPU, which is basically just a rasterizer on a PlayStation 2 to be rasterized. Uh, here's something that was more interactive that I was working on. Uh, so you could actually like move a thing around and there's a box that a box of doom that that follows you everywhere you go um, So like I've, I've done this before and that's why it's so frustrating that I'm, I'm struggling so much to even get a triangle on the screen here um, What was this? I think this is very similar to the first one I showed so so triangles on ps2 can happen, right? Yeah, exactly, right? So uh, uh, I've, I've done this stuff before and now when I try and do it uh now when I try and do it, I get I get this. 
<laughs> oh boy. Um, I've mentioned a few times as well, I've actually got a PlayStation 2 hardware manual open on my other monitor, which uh, unfortunately, unfortunately I'm not allowed to show you. Copyright by Sony. Um, and of all the dumb reasons to get my stream axed, uh, I feel like it would be showing you a, a copyrighted hardware manual. Um, Drifters, finish, and loops. See, this is... Man, there's gotta be... There's gotta be something really obvious I'm missing here. There's gotta be just something really dumb that I can do that will make this work. Um, it's gotta be something. Finish. So. This. When did I do it the last time? Uh, that It was kind of my lockdown project last year. So I guess when Melbourne was in lockdown, I guess kind of from like March, April through until oh, September, August, I was like playing around with it in my spare time. <laughs> Make triangle one. I tried that. I basically have tried that, right? I've fallen back to the PS2 SDK triangle function uh, and it still doesn't work. So what's relieving is the standard draw triangle function doesn't do anything. Um, that's a good thing. That's weirdly a good thing. So, at offset, our offset should be fine. Um, how come? I know it's it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Like it's either initialization. It's either what I do at the start of the frame. Okay, so well here's the other thing, right? So if we look at the samples in here, draw saw uh, draw sample cube. Uh, oh, freaking. Right, draw sample cube. Uh, if we look at their draw render, what do they pack into their uh, draw buffer? So, create view screen, blah, blah, blah. So, the first thing they put in, they make a DMA tag, which we don't do, because and that's fine, we don't have to do it. They disable test and then enable test, which is different to what we do. Also, they're actually clearing according to the offset, which is interesting. I thought this function factored that in. So maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe we're breaking something here. Um, I mean, let's, let's, let's try that. Actually, it looks like I'm just passing the wrong arguments in here. Looks like I'm, I'm doing something very odd in here. Um, zero to... Zero to... The, So how many arguments here? Is it one, two, three, width height. Oh yeah, no, so it's zero. Okay, well let let's just do this. Uh 204 8 204 8.0 f minus 320. Let's just copy. Let's just copy what they're doing. 2048.0 f minus uh 224 width height, and then everything else is gonna be whatever our clear color is. Let's add this disable and enable test as well. Actually, let's do that first. Uh, Q equals draw, disable test. So uh, disable test, this is our Z test. And we need to pass it as a Z buffer as well, which is annoying because we don't actually uh, get a reference to that anywhere. Uh, I don't think. I think, yeah, this lives like entirely in function scope. So I'm going to do the dumb, easy thing and just move this out here. Um, I guess I have to make it, I guess I have to allocate it, right? Um, which means that now I have to come in and... Okay, let's let's do this. Um, it, we learned last time that statically allocated things can be a bit of a pain in the ass, so... Z equals malloc size of Z buffer. Um, I find a lot of these types that PS2 SDK has defined are, are a little bit clunky. But anyway, that, that should be fine. So then Q equals draw, enable, test, Q, Z. Do we pass that as zero as well? We pass that as zero as well. I think that's for context zero. So disable, uh, Vim user, yeah, absolutely. Teach me how to use Vim better. Um, I am, I'm okay at it, but I'm not great. 
Uh, is that background from Curse Kid? I don't think so. Hold on. I actually, I do have the uh, name of the person who, at the very least, posted it to Reddit. Um, I literally think it was from a subreddit called Abstract Backgrounds or something. Uh, am I working on Pets Cop 2? Uh, I don't know what that is. Am I being memed? Is this a, is this a meme that those kids are talking about? Uh, Naka build. Oh, that did not work. Draw, draw disabled. Let's go draw disabled tests. It's a plural. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Cool. Uh, interesting post there. Can I? Cool. Let's just get rid of that fellow there. Um, <laughs> beautiful. Uh, what is the what what is what does control control V do? Uppercase I after the J's. What is it? What what does it do? What does it do? Uh, draw disabled tests. And Z buff oz Zub Z buffer T. There we go. Perfect. Uh what which space are we going to? Boot ISO. Okay, that doesn't work. But that's good that it doesn't work. Right, that's that's what we want. Um oh, okay. Um yeah. I actually, I'm, I'm getting more used to using T to jump around, so like, I did a bunch of refactoring at work today, and I had so many lines where I had to like jump to things, like I had to jump to the inside of the first opening parentheses, uh, so like, the, the first document, so like if I'm on this line and I want to jump to Q, it's T parentheses, right? Um, but then, yeah, like T parentheses and then L, I guess. Exactly as it wants. Oh, okay. I'll uh, I'll look into it. I'll look into it. Um, enable tests. Enable okay, so that didn't work. So we're gonna we're gonna do this thing. Two hundred four eight point zero f minus six minus three twenty. We're gonna go two hundred four eight point zero f minus two four four. J goes down. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. I'm with you, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. You do it. It repeats it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. I get what you're saying now. I get what you're saying now. Uh, dark build. Let's see if this changes anything. Uh, I don't know how it'll help our triangles appear, and indeed it doesn't, but it should be a little bit more correct, I guess. Like, we're actually offsetting our clear to the right place. Uh, let's see here. So... So this is what this is what their code's doing. Do they probably have a different um fixed point versus to fixed point translate to the center of the screen. So this is an interesting function as well. I should probably actually um to mark that for for later reference. How do they set up the graphic synthesizer? Draw primitive offset. They set Okay, they set the offset to they set the top left corner of the drawing area, I guess, to be that. What operating system am I using? I'm using Arch Linux. I installed it for the first time two weeks ago. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm uh, still still adapting. I've had some people tell me I won't last, but I'm pretty confident I will. I've been using Linux for a while now, and it's uh, it's pretty good. Arch, I'm I'm enjoying Arch. I'm actually really liking it. I think rolling release is cool. I think having like new versions of GCC and stuff without having to especially build them is cool. Um, I've got. A couple of so like I've got my customized DWM. Uh, there's a DWM git in the uh, user repository. I pulled that down and then I customized what it pointed to. And so now I've got my own uh, like local or version of DWM that is managed by the package manager. That's really cool and that was really easy to do. Um, I don't know. I guess you can do like similar stuff if you make your own uh, packages like apt packages. But 
I, I've just found it really easy in Arch. And I, I think there's like a good community to build on, like a lot of community packages that are already building things off of Git and you can just point them to your local repo. What's hard to draw a triangle with PS2 or Vulkan? They're very different. Uh, with Vulkan, you have a lot of overhead of like, I don't know, just like, like bulky overhead, I guess. PlayStation 2 overhead is very different. Uh, it's all overhead. I guess both are concerned with like hardware details. PlayStation 2 is very much like, I am literally, if I send something slightly wrong, I'm going to brick the system. Or not brick the system, but crash the system and then have to reboot it. And it's a very slow like iteration loop. Um, Vulkan has better tooling. So I would say Vulkan is probably easier in a lot of ways, but also you try and do more complicated things with Vulkan. Um, I've not done a load of Vulkan, but basically Vulkan has really cool abstractions that let you think about like nerdy hardware stuff. It, it's still a layer above the exact bit patterns you send to the graphics card, right? Um, <laughs> it, it has cool abstractions that let you think about how you're moving data around without being concerned about the really nitty-gritty hardware details, I guess, right? Like the super nitty-gritty, the actual bits. Um, so they're, they're very different, but probably Arch is easier because of better tooling. Uh, I'm just going to grab my cup of tea. Cool. Okay. Um, I think we decided this wasn't the case, so we can get rid of that line. So let's take another page from their book and actually, after we set up the draw environment, draw set, I think it's draw, draw primitive xy offset. So let's set a proper offset. At the moment we're using the default, let's be explicit and let's say uh, 2048 minus uh, vid width. Uh, I guess int vid width. Oh, I mean, this is going to be int division anyway. Vid width on two. Uh, and then this is going to be. We can get rid of one of those parentheses. Um, 2048 minus vid h on two. Is that all the arguments? That is all the arguments. And then. There's this function as well, draw convert xyz that I haven't looked at yet. Uh, e draw source draw. I'm guessing it maybe is in draw 2D. Maybe it's in draw 3D. Uh, it's probably not in draw environment. That was not the file name I wanted. Uh, draw convert. Here we go. Uh, X Y Z. This is this is not quite what I expected. Oh, I guess it's taking a list, right? Cool, so a list of vertices, uh, we take a midpoint, ah, oh, this is kind of cool, right? It does the floating point conversion once, and then I guess adding one um, floatifies the number, and then you multiply, this is cool, and it, it also uses like inverted y, so like, I guess, I think this system, I think the PlayStation 2 rasterizer has like, y goes down as it goes up. This is saying y goes up as it goes up. Uh, and then representing z. Uh, I get, yeah, z, like, multiplying it out by some some magic number. 1 left shift by z minus 1. This is interesting. Maybe my z isn't quite behaving. Um, what is z minus... I guess this is saying how many, like bits of z depth you want, in a way, right? If if all of your z uh, entries are between 0 and 1, or 0 and negative 1? Anyway, anyway, there's something going on here. Um, we can we can probably do something smarter with z. I think having 0 as our z value is safe. I, it shouldn't matter. So it's center x, center y. Let's try doing this. Let's try doing this. Um, in this case... Where were we? E E, 
draw sample cube. So this, they're saying the center is 2048, 2048, which I don't think is the case. I think their center is 2048 minus width on 2. Well, I think their center is this. Or is this the top left corner? Oh no, yeah, 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 no, it's the top left corner. So they're they're setting this as the center. Yeah, 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 okay, 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 okay. Um, but again, rather than actually using their function, I'm going to try and do it myself. Reverts, <laughs> uh, 2048, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So let's, instead of this, let's say, first off, is this an int? This is an int. CX equals uh, CY. Okay, no, th this no longer means this. Let's just, let's just hard code 2048, because that's a cool number. Equals 2048. Nice power of two. Okay. And then... For each vertex, instead of doing this, oh no, sorry, it's but it's gonna be uh, my f two i four. We have to convert it to this fixed point format, and this is what I've actually been missing all this time. I think is that this number is actually converted to fixed point. Uh, two to the ten, yeah, two to the eleven, two to the eleven. But then we left shift at four, so it becomes two to the fifteen. Um, why don't we just use 2 to the 15? I don't know. I'm going to stay consistent with what they're doing, though. Uh, and then we just add our value onto that. Plus 1 times this. So it, does it, it, if they're doing this, does this mean that their vertices are on the scale of 0 to 1, right? Or negative 1 to 1? Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Because it's multiplied by the center. The center? Multiplied by the... If it's... Why are they at... Anyway... We're not using this scale. I guess let's convert our vertices to, to be like this, right? Um, let's convert our vertices to a different... Because this is, this is like some local vertices. Okay, 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 okay. Does it actually have a comment? It might have a comment. It doesn't have a... Of course it doesn't have a comment. Uh, e, 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 draw source. Uh, include draw 3d.h. This does have a comment, but it doesn't tell us what it expects vertices to be. She writes end function comment. <laughs> yeah, it's uh <laughs> look, there are some interesting choices in PS2 SDK, right? It's been written by a lot of people over a very long time. Um and it's an amazing library. It's it's just hard to use in some places, and uh, you know, like having a vertex ft type defined, which is like like it's cool, and it means that you can carry you can compose a lot of these functions. But I find them very bulky to use, and I want to try and build a lot of my own abstractions. Uh, so anyway, what are we saying? We are saying as a short yeah that doesn't really do it for me. Uh, try base. So we're going to take our x coordinate and we're going to multiply it by cx. And we're going to take our y coordinate and we're going to multiply it by cy. And we're going to keep our z as 0 for now. I don't think our z needs to be anything else. Uh, should be good. Should be good. Shift is i64 is, is just doing this shift. Uh, we just need to mush these numbers together into a way that the, the PlayStation 2 wants to understand. So, 68. Now we just need to go into our try... Uh, we're going to turn these into floats, and we're going to we're going to reinvent the wheel. So it's multiplied by the center point. Oh yeah, so it needs to be on a scale of zero to two. Yeah, 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 yeah. So these are taking vertices on a range of negative one to one, and they're they're mapping them over the screen dimensions. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So let's come up with a nice triangle. Let's say negative zero point eight, uh, negative. 0 0.8, 0, Z doesn't matter anymore, but we're going to keep it anyway. Uh, then let's say uh, 0 0.7, negative 0 0.6, 0, and then let's go 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.9, 0. And let's get rid of these gross ints. I need to put Fs after these as well, don't I? Because floats are fun. Uh, F, F, F. Okay. 
and let's see let's see what happens uh that actually built okay uh we're ignoring this morning it doesn't matter and let's see what happens when we run it still not my friend and this is a pretty bonkers value this looks like a sign overflow uh which is not great which is not great so so here's uh here's the start of our gift tag we're sending six data points it's going to be uh color position color position color position so this is our color this still looks fine this is our first position this is not fine this has overflowed into something else this color is fine this position again uh this is this is not good these have these have overflowed they have overrun their boundaries uh or they've they've turned into negative negative numbers i guess oh because i forgot to add one they forget yeah 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 that's that's fine that's fine that's fine need to map it onto the range 0 to 2 okay that's what happens when you uh, have negative numbers. Like, it, these are 16-bit numbers as far as the PlayStation 2 is concerned, but we're not converting them to 16-bit numbers before we uh, do arithmetic with them. So there we go. This looks more sane. This looks more sane. Uh, now, if we pause it, we look at this buffer coming through, we find the start of our GIF tag, which is here. The color looks good. The... Uh, Mm, these are these are very different values. These are much lower numbers than they were before. Much, much lower numbers. Um, 1999. So... Mm, what's, what's interesting is... What's interesting is... These, um... Don't feel like the right numbers. <laughs> right? These should be normalized around one zero zero. Uh, it should be normalized around eight zero zero zero, right? So the first one we expect to be like zero should be eight zero zero zero. Uh, compiled an example project. Yeah, I don't know if you saw before. I actually ran uh, a few things that I've I'd built in the past. The the sample projects don't actually all necessarily build either. Um, let's ee. -E. I mean, let's see if I can build this cube example. Uh, can I... Yeah, so... Building it, yeah. Um, what happens if I just, like... Uh, hold on, no. Docker run... V... What if I... It's not a bad thought. It's not a bad thought. Uh, but I do believe... The, the toolchain's recently been updated. Uh, so I think a few things aren't necessarily working in the samples. Uh, Rules.make. Oh no, hold on, that doesn't... Uh, I think this is one of those things as well where it's hard to just build this project. Uh, PS2 SDK. I don't know where PS2 SDK source gets defined. I'm guessing it's weird. I don't have that defined. Uh, maybe I... Let's see, let's see. Uh, draw... Well, this does build... Does it build the samples? It doesn't build the samples. Uh, oh, and this won't have the um, source included, I don't think. How do you interact with the GPU? Uh, driver? <laughs> this is... Th this is, like... So, main... Dot C, uh, you build you build buffers with commands. So this is a header that tells the. Uh, hold, hold on, uh, let me redraw my favorite diagram. I I draw a picture every week, uh, or every stream, I should say. Uh, let's go three thousand by three thousand. Um, so let's uh, 
So, you've got... Let's make that a little bit bigger. Hold on, let's get a nicer brush, nicer brush. Um, I may not be succeeding at drawing, but I absolutely can explain how to draw. Uh, so, you have the EE core, which is like the CPU, right? The EE technically uh, is actually like this whole unit that contains two vector units. Uh, let's, let's, say, let's say vector unit 0, vector unit 1. These are like specialized 128-bit vector processors. Vector unit 0 is also a, a coprocessor for the Emotion Engine. And you have this special thing called a, a DMA controller. Uh, DMAC. So, main memory exists like somewhere in the middle here. Uh, via main memory, DMAC has like registers that are memory mapped into main memory. You change addresses in memory, it controls the direct memory access controller, you then tell it to read parts of memory and send them off to a special unit called the GIF. And that is what we're communicating with at the moment directly from the CPU. The GIF is your interface into the graphics synthesizer, which is essentially our GPU, but it's more of a rasterizer. It doesn't do uh, vertex transformation, it doesn't do fragment shading. Uh, all it does is take in a list of vertices uh, and and depth. So it's not even like real X, Y, Z coordinates, it's X, Y and depth. Uh, and it draws them with like depth, you know, against a depth map, it can apply textures to the triangles. Um, but yeah, very, very simplistic unit. Uh, it, it has some powerful things. You can do a lot with like fog, but fog can actually be used for all kinds of cool, I guess, pixel effects. Uh, but yeah, on, on the whole. So this is called a path three renderer. Uh, where you go directly from the CPU to the graphics interchange and then eventually into the, the uh, graphics synthesizer. There is another path where you go via VU1. Uh, so the vector units, the vector processors are 128-bit processors. Uh, there's nothing else like them in the world, okay? They operate, they're, they're basically SIMD instructions, single instruction, multiple data uh, processors, right? They're designed to, to just have massive throughput for vector operations, things like multiplying vectors, adding vectors together, uh, and they have this really weird, they're MIPS processors essentially, but no other processor has ever had the same ISA as far as I know. So they're basically, uh, each vector unit is basically two MIPS CPUs bolted together, right? You have an upper ISA and you have a lower ISA bolted together. So instructions are 64 bits, but uh, the upper instruction, it's divided into an upper instruction and a lower instruction, each 32 bits. Uh, and so the idea is that, say on VU1, uh, you can add and subtract and uh, do, do a couple of other vector operations in the upper instruction. Uh, I think add, subtract, and multiply are in upper, and then divide is in, like, lower, right? And so you can do these things in parallel. The catch is that because you're running two instruction sets in parallel, um, normal, like, like instructions don't all take one cycle, right? So like a divide takes seven cycles. But because you're running these things in parallel, you have to manually manage that delay, right? So uh, you call a, a divide, the next six instructions then have to be NOPs. And so the idea is to try and construct this program that runs these two essentially parallel programs that are operating on the same data on the same registers without running into like data races, data collisions, uh, and trying to saturate the pipeline as much as you can while manually juggling how long each instruction takes to run. And it's, it's extremely complicated and extremely time consuming. Uh, and so this is the goal. The goal is to push data from the CPU into the vector unit through the graphics interchange into the graphics synthesizer. Um, and it's going to look very similar to what we're doing right now, right? So once we're in VU1, uh, we essentially write an assembly program that takes... A, a, the array will look... You know, it'll take like a list of, of uh, quad words, kind of like this. And we will step through each one. We will extract uh, an X coordinate. We will transform it according to some matrix that we pass in and a fixed address in memory. We'll take the Y coordinate, we'll translate it, and then we'll write it back into the same place uh, in, the, in this buffer as a fixed point. 16-bit number. So that's the goal. That, that's the end goal. Um, and it'll take a little bit of time to get there, and, and VU1 stuff is, is super complicated and super hard, but this is what we're working towards. But for now, we're going to work with as few hardware components as possible. Uh, when I said I was running things on the CPU, that meant that I was running it all on the, on the EE core. Um, so 
that I I actually have never successfully run a program that did anything meaningful on VU0 or VU1. I've never used VU0. VU0 is a bit of a mystery to me. You can actually write, because because VU0 is a coprocessor to the e, e core, you can kind of write VU0 assembly directly and run it from the EE core in what's called macro mode. Uh, or you can swap it over to micro mode where you upload an independent program that runs completely separately. Um, the other wild thing about the PlayStation 2, and I mentioned this last stream, uh, the graphic synthesizer has four megabytes of video RAM, okay? Uh, once you have frame buffers and stuff at 480p, or even 480i, right, you're looking at maybe two megabytes left over for textures and stuff. So this is your kind of like magical, I can use this space. Here's the problem. Uh, you want to get textures in the graphic synthesizer that are going to be relevant to the vertices that are coming out from VU1, which is running totally independently to your CPU. So you you, you have to like kind of saturate it with uh, with transfers of, of vertexes. It can only operate on on so much at a time. I can't remember how much memory it has, but it's not that much. It's definitely less than two megabytes. Uh, so you have to be you know fairly regularly sending it vertices to transform and and do other operations in so it can then pass them on eventually to the GPU. But while that's happening, you have to be uploading texture data to the GPU as well, and you do that via path three, this path here. So while vertex data is coming through here, when it gets to the graphic synthesizer, which is completely asynchronous, you need to have uploaded the textures that it needs to be using at some point before it arrives. So again, if you want to maximize your performance, mid-frame you're streaming textures you're streaming vertices the the dmac is going crazy you know these these uh pathways will have to be like very very saturated uh the gs is connected to the rc out a outputs there, there's like another hardware component or two in the middle here that that goes through um i don't know exactly how this works the the system hardware manuals actually go into a lot of detail about how not only rasterization works, like literally at a pixel level, it talks about how it decides, you know, if you're drawing a line from A to B with these coordinates, what what uh, constitutes a pixel hit versus a pixel miss, when is a pixel drawn to or not. Uh, and then it goes into a lot of detail about how signals are digitized, as, uh, digitized? Uh, the opposite of that, an an analogized, analogized, I don't know. It, it goes through some other hardware stuff and then comes out as, yeah, red, yellow, and blue RCA cables. Uh, or if you're you're very good, uh, it comes out as component cables, right? So yeah, PlayStation Two is wild, um, and there's a there's a good reason. Hopefully, hopefully you can see why I'm so interested in writing uh, code for this system because it's just so bonkers. Uh, yes, I, I have seen that video. Uh, 17, 17 million triangles a second. So hold on, let me. Uh, just just from nothing in particular let me uh see what the let me let me let me tell you something about playstation 2 fact uh playstation 2 performance uh where is it main specifications or is it no sorry it's in the um gs manual again i'm like i don't want to show this on stream but i'm i'm talking about things directly from it so i don't know i don't know where where i'm crossing a line uh, drawing properties, drawing process. Oh, there's a really, yeah, here we go. Maximum performance. So, uh, if you draw, uh, non, not textured flat triangles, you know, no shading, uh, no anti-aliasing, you can get 75 million for, uh, triangles per second on the PlayStation 2. Uh, so 17 million triangles a second that's possible with with texturing and with shading and anti-aliasing on. Um, but you have to be pretty efficient, <laughs> right? That's just like you're pushing triangles and nothing else. Um, according to the hardware manuals, that is absolutely possible. Um, but yeah, there, there's a lot of cool stuff. There are some cool demos. There's a demo video from, I think, 2003 or 2004 of people showing off programs they'd written that just ran on the vector units. And so there's a really cool like physics simulation some people did. Someone wrote a ray tracer completely on the vector units, which is amazing. Um, especially with like the memory constraints, I can't quite imagine how that would work. But yeah, su super interesting stuff. Uh, because you can just send arbitrary image data through to the... So like, especially if you're using Path 3, 
you can just send like blocks of pixels that get copied into the frame buffer. And that, that's how uh, uploading textures works, right? Instead of uploading to a frame buffer, you upload to a place in graphics memory that's then referenced by your vertices. Or that's then referenced by a register, which your vertices then use. Um, yeah, super interesting stuff. Super interesting stuff. If I run this again, is it going to work? No, it's not going to work. Oh man, stream three and no triangles. <laughs> It's a sad time. It's a sad time. Um, I've got to work out why these values aren't looking right, okay? Because my F2, my F2i4. Let's just, let's uh, replace the, the fixed point conversion just to make sure it's not that. Because that function is expecting, nope, still nothing. Could it also be something to do with alpha? Because I'm not really setting alpha anywhere. Should alpha be set to like... Hold on. Here's, here's another fun thought. Here's another fun thought. Uh, let's just go back to the root directory here. Draw cube... Uh, draw samples cube. Because if memory serves, if I just search for like... Yeah, here's this magical alpha value. Hmm. Color. Okay, so where is color used? Draw prim start. Oh, this is interesting as well, actually. Draw prim start. Um, draw. Draw prim end. So this is almost like a um, like a, a GL one style. Sure, I'm not drawing black triangles. I actually might be drawing transparent triangles. Uh, isn't that wild? <laughs> Hold on. So what if I go call uh, e e draw include draw types color t. What if I go in here and set a to zero x eighty? Uh, does that work? Can I reference? Yeah. <laughs> I w you joke? I was drawing transparent triangles. I was drawing tr this whole time. This whole time I was drawing transparent triangles. That is insanity. Oh my god, that's incredible. <laughs> well, that's exciting to know anyway. Okay, so now if I come in here, right? Um, if I go back to my freaking hardware manual and I look at where I actually am supposed to be setting the alpha in here. Uh, red, blue, green. Where does alpha get set? Uh, hold on, let me just... Oh, this is, this is a long way into the manual. Uh, GIF, GIF, GIF. Alright, GIF, GIF control register. Where are we? Data, data transfer, control registers, DMA control, memory map, EE core, memory map, register map. Timer, DMAC, DMA tag, VPU, VIF code, VPU, data format, data format, GIF tag, register descriptors. Okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, packed, RGBAQ. Yeah, okay, so it's, it's, oh no, I'm, I'm setting this here. I should be setting this here. Yeah, okay. Well, that was progress at least. So why does it... So I, I, I thought of this here, uh, which is good. <laughs> if I if I look at what's actually being drawn though, is this actually being set anywhere? So where does mine my starts mine starts here, and then we have red blue. This isn't carrying through. This is not carrying through. This this is a blue. Our alpha should be here. Our alpha should be in this byte. Uh, one two three four five six seven eight. Yeah, alpha, our alpha should be in this byte, and there's nothing there. But where, hmm, 0x80, is this actually a shift thing? Are we going to have to, oh, this is a shifting issue, isn't it? We're shifting, we're shifting this bit out of this number. Um, shift as I64. C macros to the rescue. Watch this work now. Watch this work now. <laughs> I've been looking at these buffers and I didn't even real. yep, there it goes. Um, okay, that's not quite what I wanted to draw, but like, 
that is that is progress that is freaking progress we have we are confirmed i don't think i can call that quite a triangle but we have got pixels going to the screen uh let's get rid of our test triangle here right that can that can go in the bin we don't need this anymore we can do without these these standard library functions we've got our own standard library uh okay okay let's let's make our triangle smaller um we can do that here Divided by 2, maybe? Divided by 2.0f. And actually, we probably want to add 1.0f. Just to make sure everything stays as, uh, stays as a float. Here we go, here we go. Divided by 2.0f. Let's, let's try and... Let, we'll, we'll draw a slightly smaller triangle, okay? And that's back to not working. Um... Oh, we're close. We're close. Uh, dividing, dividing is always, always dangerous. Always dangerous. Good way to lose bits. Um, it's just like, it's just. Let's accept it's a big triangle. Let's accept it's a big boy. I love that. I love that triangle emote, guys. That makes me really happy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Something's happening. Something is happening. Um, okay. So what if what if we just come in here and make it smaller? What if we just like point point six point four point two? What if we just manually play with these numbers a bit? Try and get something that's a little bit less crazy. That's a triangle. That's a triangle. Again, that's still not quite the triangle I want to draw, but that's a triangle. Um, these numbers still don't quite look right, okay? Because if I come in here, right, so where's my gift tag? Here's my gift tag. Um, this number looks better, but it's still not what I expect to see. I expect... So if the top left corner of the screen, or one of the top corners of the screen, it should be... Um, the, yeah, the top left corner of the screen should be 8000. So what what is where is this coming from? <laughs> um, X, Y, and Z is zero. Then we have this. So this is on the screen, right? So if we actually if we look if we actually think about what's being drawn here, right? Um, oh god, this is just gonna scroll, isn't it? Oh, I need to pause my log somehow. Um, System out. Yeah, cool. Okay, I've, I can axe the logs. Or not. Yeah, yeah, cool. I can axe the logs. That is a... That... What is that? What? I don't even know what character this is, but this is the perfect representation of how I'm feeling right now. It's all just a big red bar. Um, 599. So this should be somewhere over here, right? And that looks like it's what it is. Our first vertex is over here, somewhere, out in space. Um, our next vertex is over here. So the Y is still off the screen, but the X is very much on the screen, perhaps even past the screen. Uh, and then our last point is much, much bigger. It's down here. Uh, yeah, the Y is much bigger and the X is bigger again. So it's like down here. So yeah. Look, this, this, um, this is actually what we're saying we're drawing, right? What our buffer says we're drawing, this makes sense. We're drawing this vertex, we're drawing this vertex, we're drawing this vertex. The only problem is they're all off the screen. I, I suspect if I tried to run this on a real PlayStation 2, it would die. Uh, they're not, you have to like manually do scissoring of triangles, otherwise it gets very, very unhappy when you try and draw some of this stuff. Uh, so, that's exciting still. That's really exciting still. Um, it's doing something and it makes sense. We're just kind of kind of dinguses. Um, okay, let's go back to manual triangles. Let's go back to offset x plus ten, offset y plus twelve zero, offset x plus. Actually, why don't I just add that on once? Let's go ten. 10, 0, uh, 
520, 0, and uh, 300, 400, 0. Cool. Uh, that was not what I wanted. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so now instead of this, um, instead of multiplying, we just add, right? Try base plus 0 plus CX. And then try base plus 1 plus CY. This should work. It does. Oh, that's what I, that's, that's a lot smaller than I wanted to see it, actually. I wanted to draw a triangle that took up most of the screen. Uh, I did not draw a triangle that took up most of the screen. That's, that's less triumphant than I hoped. <laughs> um, that should be, that should go from, so like 10. Why is this mapping wrong? What is, what is happening here? Uh, let's get our log sources back. I think, I think IOP console is what's giving us output here, right? Yeah. Um, and then let's get rid of it. So, IOP console. Uh, I, IOP, by the way, we've got an, an IO coprocessor, which is capable of doing stuff asynchronously, uh, which, which is responsible for all IO on the system. Okay, 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 okay. So, find the start of our gift tag. Uh, this is it. This is it. Color looks fine. Position? Uh, looks like what we want, right? This is the center of the screen. Oh, the center of the screen plus 10. And then this is the center of the screen plus 400? Or plus 1F. What's a 1F? 0x1F. One because these... Mm. Okay, so, so actually, we're not... Uh, we're, yeah, 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 okay. So, I, sorry, I see what's happened. Um, we are trying to have an offset of 10. What this actually is is an offset of point something, right? I'm trying to have an offset of 400. It actually turns into uh, 16 plus 15, which is 31, right? So instead of... It, it's... Uh, we need to shift it over to the left. So uh, my F to I4, we, we need to actually convert this to a fixed point 16 bit number that the PlayStation 2 understands before we add it on. This is all making sense. This is all, uh, I have never understood the offset register so well. Uh, my F to I4, binary have float and int. That isn't good. Why is this a, oh, because I forgot to change the type to int. That makes sense. Now if I run it, our triangle is going to be bigger. It's going to be the same shape, but bigger. Yeah, cool, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah, and because I'm, um, I'm doing the offset wrong. Uh, it should be minus vid width on 2, and this should be this minus vid height on 2. Here we go, here we go. The third time's the charm. Perfect. That, that is exactly what I wanted to see. And we've done it. We have control of the system. We have we have taken control uh, of of the PlayStation Two. So the next step from here, we're gonna we're gonna load some object files, uh, and we're gonna pump out. Well, first things first. Let's next stream. I'm gonna call it here. We've got triangle. It took us like four and a bit hours, if not a little bit longer. But the the road to triangle was paved with blood. But we got there. Uh, the next step is to draw more triangles, right? Write a function that shits a bunch of, bunch of triangles onto the screen, right? Draw a million triangles. Uh, just do it. And then put it on a USB and take it over to my PlayStation 2 and run it uh, on, on real hardware and verify that it works. Then we want to go in. Uh, I'm really keen to clean this up because this file, like, this shouldn't be a 200-line file, okay? Um, this GS stuff can go into its own function. I prob I want to rewrite draw finish. I, I want to I want to start rewriting these functions to use a better or to at least get away from this pattern because I think this pattern's really gross. But all of the uh, draw functions in PS2 SDK use this pattern. So if I go away from this pattern, I have to pivot really hard away from it and rewrite everything. And uh, part of that's going to involve rewriting clearing the screen. So draw uh, source draw dot c clear 
right? And like, it looks surprisingly approachable, right? It's just setting GIF tags, but this draw rect filled strips function, uh, rect filled strips, uh, where it kind of fills an area with stripped rectangles for some reason, because if you try and draw a big rectangle, I guess there are problems with it. And it has this like loop, it does a bunch of draw calls. So this is actually a good test to try and replicate, right? Uh, I mean, <laughs> like, like this stuff is really fun. Um, 31 left shift 4, fine. The first time I looked at this code, I was like, what does this mean? Now I'm like, yeah, this is this is 31 in fixed point 16 format. Um, uneven, don't know what this means. So, so this is a weird function and it would be weird to try and replicate it, but maybe I could make it cleaner and more readable, at least in my eyes, right? At least I could understand it better. Uh, I also think there's room to have a better abstraction for drawing, for making these tags, right? Because uh, if we go like... Like, look at this. This this is not pretty, right? We're manually setting this stuff. This is this means one register. This means, like, we're setting one register. This is, like, the actual register we're setting. It's super messy. It's super messy. So what I actually have here... Um, and this is this is on GitHub right now. Uh, I've got this abstraction called drawbuffer.c. And this basically does the weird bit blitting stuff for you and keeps track of, of how much stuff you've done and like you can build a GIF tag and then get to the end of a GIF tag and it automatically populates stuff at, at the start of it. I don't know. It's hard to explain in a in a short time, but basically it means we can do it without uh without a lot of the the cruft that comes with manually setting bits and like manually incrementing uh pointers because i i don't like that that makes me th this makes me really unhappy cool so uh you can run it off of usb yeah you can run I, I can actually boot games over the network and that's the the way to test this stuff right uh even still the dev cycle can be a little bit slow because things tend to crash a lot and it's hard to get good debug information out of a playstation 2 unless you have an actual like test console uh yeah, so look up free McBoot, uh, free MC boot. You can get a memory card. It's a soft mod for your PlayStation 2. You plug a memory card in, it boots into a custom menu. You can run whatever you want, uh, which is really cool. People have ported, uh, there's a guy, he actually followed me recently, uh, as in like in my last stream or like just after my last stream finished. Uh, F FJT, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but um, he's he's been working on a port of RetroArch. So you can run RetroArch, you can run NES games, a SNES games a bit. There's a recent effort to get a GBA core work working on there, and that works, again, okay. Takes a long time to load games, but it's it's pretty good. Um, since, again, like, this guy's done a lot of work. A few people have done a lot of work porting PS2 SDK and, like, the whole uh, bin utils and, and the compiler and stuff from GCC 3 point something to GCC... I think they're on GCC 11, or maybe GCC 10. Um... It's been a lot of work and, and they're absolutely killing it. And that's meant we've been able to compile a, a lot of more modern software and, you know, get a lot better performance, right? And a lot of modern optimization benefits. Uh, but at the end of the day, sometimes you have to just go in and, and fiddle with some bits. And I'm sure as this progresses, I'm going to write some uh, VU naught assembly in, in macro mode and, you know, try and do some, some more interesting vertex stuff with that. So anyway, I need to go. Uh, I need to I need to do some things before bed. I've got a busy day at work tomorrow. Uh, so, this has been a lot of fun. We got a triangle on the screen. We did it. We did it. Took us a long time, but we freaking did it. Uh, so, it's triangle time. I've been Tom. Be sure to check out my website. I've started a YouTube channel. Haven't put anything on it yet, but I'm going to be uploading these videos and maybe some other stuff to YouTube. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks, guys, for, for hanging around. Uh, it's good to have some, some people hanging out, talking. Uh, makes this process a lot more exciting, a lot more fun. Uh, it's, it's great. I'm loving it. And I'm definitely going to be back soon. So thanks so much for tuning in. See you next time.